ghosts, spirits, and paranormal, uh, paranormal activity. That's what some people working at an Austin bar say they experience not just on Halloween, but year round. KVU's Hank Kevinero has the story. Inside the spider house. Probably tonight. There's going to be so many people here, you won't even notice them. There's spirits lurking around. Oh, yeah, I'm in here all alone all the time. It's terrifying. <laughs> just ask bar manager Danielle Howe Cooper. She hasn't just heard the stories, she's lived them. Once the lights are off in here, it's usually just like a little glowy red light by the bar. But uh, I came in here and I shined my flashlight, and there's somebody standing right here, actually. Everybody has their own stories. But it's, it's pretty neat that a lot of them connect and, and validate each other. I'm Stephen Ballou and I'm the host of the Night Owl podcast featuring True Tales of the Paranormal. It's based here in Austin, Texas. And Stephen has documented them. Who better to let share these stories then than Stephen and Danielle? This whole property is riddled with spirits. For people who don't believe in it, it's like, oh, well, maybe it's a homeless guy on the roof or something. People who do, it's like, oh God, what's in the rafters? What's chasing us? There's the lady up in the tattoo shop. Or they've seen a woman in this window or a figure in this window after store hours when this shop is closed. It's just there, it happens, and it's something that happens more frequently than people would like to admit. I would not believe in this stuff if I hadn't experienced it myself. So I'm completely with them. I feel like no, there's no other way to truly believe in this stuff unless you've actually experienced it yourself. It's those moments that you can't explain that are really the moments that are truly terrifying. Hank Kevinero, KVU News.